This is a demonstration to show you the kind of damage that can be done when you go into the baby's mouth with a single hole device. Um, I have the suction turned on and then this is chicken skin, which is much more dense and much more um, mature than the, than the mucosa of a, of a neonate. And so you can see very clearly how it grabs the tissue and pulls the tissue up. That is something that can damage the mucosa of the baby's inside the baby's mouth. A lot of times this is an unseen hurt that uh, nurses don't realize that they're doing. They're using whatever they can. This particular device is a TB syringe. Um, I'm going to show you other examples of devices that um, nurses use all in an effort to try and get the mucus out of the baby's mouth when they're intubated. Unfortunately, in an effort to do the best job that they can without the tools that they really should have, this is the kind of result that you can get, which is a damaging effect to the baby's mouth. What I'm going to show you right now is a delete that's been cut um, by the nurse in order to um, reduce the um, distance that the, the mucus has to travel when she's suctioning. The problem is when you go into the baby's mouth and it grabs tissue, you can, if you can close up on that, you can actually see the tissue moving through the catheter it actually moves into the catheter. Now this is chicken skin, which is quite dense, but on a neonate whose mucosa is very, very immature and not fully developed, just like their skin isn't, this can tear tissue and literally cause uh, secondary infections inside the baby's mouth. So if you ever see a nurse who's uh, charting that they have brown tinge secretions, a lot of times that's the end result of trying to suction with a single hole device. Now nurses will tell you that well, I need something that will get the mucus out quickly. So th even though this delay is down at the bottom level, a lot of times they will take this and cut it again and use the larger portion. And I'm going to show you what happens when you do that. The next thing I'm going to show you is uh, what happens when a nurse cuts the device even shorter in order to try and get the secretions quicker. Uh, whenever you cut a device, you make a sharp edge to it, which can actually cut into the mucosa of a neonate. But just to see, the, just to watch and see what happens when we take a larger hole device and put it in there, we actually move the device, it actually grabs more tissue. So in an effort to try and get the mucus out, now what's happened is I can almost lift this up, depending on the, that's a soft piece of tissue, so you can see how much it's, it's grabbing it. Now what happens is that gets clogged in there and then you turn off the suction, but the, it's now lodged in, within the cavity and um, the, the catheter and the doctor will then have to come in with forceps and try to eliminate it. You can see this is continuing to move. Now the nurse may think she's in there suctioning and then she, when she pulls to disengage, that's where the tears occur. That's when the tissue gets torn. Once again, chicken tish, the, the skin of chicken is much more dense and much more thick than a neonate's. But just there's an example of what can happen when you suction with the device with only one hole. Here's another example of a single hole device that's wonderful for the nares. However, when you use it orally, you get that same response. It grabs tissue and holds onto the tissue. Once again, chicken, chicken skin is much more uh, mature and dense than the mucosa of a, of a neonate. And therefore, when I would pull back, I would probably tear tissue every time I go in to grab it. You can see what it's doing to this chicken skin. Another single hole device, wonderful for the nares, but definitely shouldn't be put in a baby's mouth. Uh, I'm going to show you what the BB Yonkers was designed to do. If you notice on my BB Yonkers, there is a hole here, two holes on the side, and one hole at the end. The reasoning for that is so that you have multiple holes and you're less likely to grab tissue as you could with the other devices. You'll notice that when I come down directly on here, it will literally run across the tissue and remove the mucus that's there, but not stick to the mucosa. And that reason for that is the multiple holes. You can see I'm trying to, it will not stick. It won't stick. 
because it's got a diameter that tapers like that as you're moving through the catheter, what happens is the device never gets an equalization of pressure within here. And so what that means is the mucus can move quickly through this catheter into the uh, suction uh, tubing. This is the most effective suctioning device for the neonatal intensive care unit. Um, if you're using a single hole device, you need to stop. If you're cutting up products, you need to stop because it's very dangerous for the infant. We want you to have the right tools to do the right job for your infant. And the BB Yonkers is the right tool for the right job.